One thing about Jesus is that he's not finna cut you off because of a mistake that you made. Like, God is not in the business of cutting you off because of some character flaw that you have, some sin issue that you struggle with, some addiction that you fail to overcome. God is not in the business of cutting us off. As a matter of fact, he's in the business of leaning into our brokenness. He wants to dwell with us. He wants relationship with us. The scripture says that he desires all men to come to repentance, meaning he desires for you to change your ways so that you could reconnect with him that's what repentance is right god wanting you to turn from your sin and turning to him turning from your brokenness and turning to god so that you could find healing and hope um for the future so i want you to be reminded of god's love like he loves you so much and your brokenness cannot keep him away from loving you uh, your sin cannot keep him away from dwelling and having relationship with you. Jesus loves you no matter what. So I want you to be encouraged. Um, this is not a license for you to do whatever you want now, right? That's not what the scripture calls us to. There needs to be a pursuit to of purity in your heart. There needs to be a pursuit for purity, a pursuit for holiness, a pursuit to live righteously to please God um, but along the way along the journey many of us in our pursuit of trying to be pure and to please God we find impurities and sin in our lives and we think that God wants to cut us off God is not in the business of cutting you off God wants relationship with you he loves you he cares for you and I want you to be encouraged. I want you to lean into this reality that the love that God has for you is real. And it's not dependent upon your performance. Your good works or your performance is not enough and it will never be enough. And it is not the thing that makes God love you more. He loves you regardless of your performance. He loves you regardless of what you can do or can't do. And I want you to receive that. Receive that today, like right now. Don't let the devil lie to you anymore. Don't let the devil discourage you in thinking that Jesus doesn't love you. He loves you. He cares for you. And there's nothing the devil can do about it.